Welcome. Welcome to GTEx Designs. I'm GTEx, and this episode we will be creating the part 1-09 mid-beam support angle of the Clayton Untyped Steam Wagon. So let's get designing. Welcome, welcome to GTEx Designs. I'm GTEx, and we're building the Clayton Untyped Steam Wagon. And this is going to be part 1-9, mid-beam support angle. So it's, it's opening up a template, set millimeters straight away. So we're going to go to the right one, and we're going to do square, now square, or rectangle and wipe out there we go beautiful and this is going to be 25.5 by 19 so 25.5 19 go zoom in zoom in thank you and it's going to be three mil i think it's going to be the same again yeah three mil so it's going to be three and three now we want to go extrude midpoint it's gonna be 90 yep 90 and done okay we want to go fill it it's gonna be three and done Uh, fill it. So I've got one highlighter put in there automatically. I don't know I'm like doing that, so I'm gonna do it accidentally. But so I like to click in there that way I know which one I've got. So there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so let's go to the top. Um, that's gonna be angled. Okay, so we want to. Great sketch. Uh, oh, not trim line. Thank you. Do a triangle. You always mirror this, but I'm just going to do this way. It's just probably just as quick. There we go. Yeah, that one. Thank you. These two can be. I oh, was on. There we go. Now this is going to be twenty by twenty. 20 20 and 20 there you go so you mirror it all that way i think this way is actually quicker but either way works then we go feature extrude through all and done there we go now we want holes on this we want eight holes at five so hole wizard through all five beautiful so we want one two three four five six seven eight so two rows of four or four columns of two as you look at it. that got confusing <laughs> two rows of four let's just stick to that uh horizontal beautiful and one more horizontal okay let's do Vertical. Vertical. Don't look at the movement this one will do. Bang, see? They pretty much where the line start with, so it looks like it doesn't move. It probably does a little bit or they're in line already, so okay. Smart dimension. Okay, these gotta be ten apart, so let's do ten first. Ten. 10 and last one 10 uh there's gonna be 9.5 apart this way 9.5 and it's gonna be 8.5 from the back here oh. do it again 
there's a way you can extend on that the measurements you know it's coming here to do that it's not quite one at the moment so uh 8.5 and from there to center will be five you want this in center and that will put that's 10 so they go five that's gonna be center there they're gonna be even each side so that's one way you can do that so that should be everything so it's height height distance 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 that should be everything yep and that's finish it off there we go beautiful that one's done well that side is done we still gotta do this side now we've got actually before we do we've got a curve on this there's gonna be a billet of five and we oh no no not that one clay selection in that one there we go let me go back to normal there we go beautiful now we want one two three four five holes of five mil so do the hole wizard five mil through all perfect one two three four five one two three four and five which is going to be horizontal now this is going to be 19 apart uh, go to measurement 19 19 you do these two hopefully they'll do what i think it's going to do yep push that way excellent and 19. now we want where is it that dot there this dot here is going to be vehicle this is going to be center and these are going to be that should be seven that's seven excellent that's correct but from the curved edge this one which is that top is going to be 10. so there's 10 19 7 which put that in center which i lined up there so pretty much the same thing and seven excellent that looks good so let's okay that and that's looking good that's the end of that part so thank you coming up don't forget to save so one dash zero nine over right yep and yeah so that's that part done Thank you for coming along. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope this is very helpful. I really can't wait to get this stuff together. So, thanks again. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, click that like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and welcome all new subscribers. And thank you for everyone that has subscribed. Leave comments below. Got any questions, queries, or whatever? I'm happy to help out wherever I can. I'll see you next episode. And remember, thank you very much.